Hello folks, I wanted to add a new telescope to my collection and now I've got an Orion refractor and the focal length is only 480 and that's because I wanted something wide field. Although I admit it's probably not the best time of the year for that, but that's okay. I can, I can wait it out and I was surprised. I didn't know it was going to come with a nice case. So let me open this up and see what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like when I open the case. Looks like I've got instructions there. It's wrapped in plastic. And the case even comes with a key. Very interesting. All right. Let's take this telescope out and see what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. And the, it's a carbon fiber tube. That's pretty cool. Big focuser. I think it's a two inch focuser. And uh, the only thing issue I see right now is underneath I'm not sure I'm going to be able to mount that to my AVX mount which was what I was planning to use it with I'd have to I'm not sure I have a mounting bar that's compatible with that to be able to put it on my AVX I think my CGX would probably hold it but I'm going to have to add a new mounting bar a compatible mounting bar for that and it looks like the uh, the dew shield slides forward and backward and I can lock it with that so I want to see what this thing looks like on a mount. So I'll be back. Okay, so yesterday I had to order a new mounting bar that will allow me to mount this telescope onto my AVX mount. And that way I will keep the lighter loads for the AVX mount and the heavier loads like this telescope for the CGX mount. And that way I don't have to keep swapping equipment on and off this mount. I think it'll be easier just to have two different mounts. You know, one for the lighter stuff, one for the heavier stuff. And while I'm waiting for that mounting bar to arrive, I'm, I still want to try out this telescope. So what I did is I removed my ST80 from this arrangement and I screwed the base of this telescope onto a clamp. And I'm just going to piggyback off of my ADSC telescope for now and try it with my CGX mount. And, you know, the, the CGX mount actually has a very good saddle not like the the AVX is a, not quite as flexible in that area but it would have allowed me to just saddle my telescope this this space here onto the the mount itself the only problem is I need a long mounting bar to hang my pole master off of and so I'm just going to leave my Schmidt cast grain on there I'm going to keep my pole master where it is and I'm just going to image with this telescope tonight and my ANSC will have nothing to do today. So thanks for carrying the load. Hello folks. All right. So far things have gone well with this new telescope. I tried to think in advance every possible issue that could come up and I pretty much nailed everything. So, so far I'm, I'm, I'm looking pretty good. I'm going after the Orion Nebula and I'm doing LRGB today. I'm doing two L's and then RGB. And I'm doing, I'm rotating through all of them. So I have something of everything in, in case the clouds moved in. I'm not expecting them to. Yeah, uh, yeah, 20 seconds a piece is about all I can handle. It looks like I'm already, I might be blown out already with this Orion core. Uh, let's take a look at my guiding before I show you an example of what I got so far. Now the guiding is down to, uh, is point. Eight, nine. And this is actually very good for me because I'm never usually this good when it comes to pointing towards the south. It was over one a while ago. And plus the fact that the image scale of this um, uh, imaging camera and telescope is near 1.63. So 0.92 right now is not even close to being a whole pixel. So I, I'm really good there. And let's take a look at uh, some of the, I've stacked the first eight luminance pictures, images that came through so far, and that's what it's looking like so far. Um, with the first eight luminance, uh, I don't have any bias or flats um, incorporated. No, I do have flats, but I don't have any bias or darks incorporated into this yet. So... I don't, I don't know if I should be concerned about this dark area, if that's going to be a problem or not. I'm wondering if, uh, I'm using a, a light pollution filter, 
And oh, I know what happened. I when I stacked them, I <laughs> I had RGB turned on for my stacking process when I was playing around in Deep Sky Stacker. So maybe this isn't the best example. But this is what I've got so far, and I'm playing. I'm hoping HDMI multi-scale transfer transform can can help me with the core, so it's not to blow it out. And you can see there using this feature, it it helps with the core a little. That's the original, and that's after. So I'm I'm gonna be leaning on that feature. So that's all I got so far. Okay, I'll talk to you later.